It's done. So um, we have here now our raspberry meat and our rosemel. So one week is over. The raspberry meat is clear completely. This one was also clear until here, but when I transport it, it's getting cloudy again. The solids of the roses make it cloudy. Uh, we also take it with that now. I wanted it in the other fermenter. Um, and next time we will be careful. So now it's double work, of course. One, one time the roses, one time the raspberry. First of all, we make the roses. Let's try first. Does it really have enough flavor? Let me go inside, get suck a little bit. Before we start here. Okay. So, we have a lot of rose flavor. A lot of roses. You sm smell the roses with a kind of honey in the ground, background. There's just a little bit honey. And that's a lot of rose flavor. Wow. Um, I'm also wonder. It tastes sweet. We have the last time 1.000. So complete dry. We don't add any honey or something, but like I said, I don't care about the things on the ground. We will take them with us. I just don't want the pellets, the rose pellets. And here I'm really interested. If it tastes good, we can already bottle it. It's completely clear. But I'm sure this one needs to be back sweet. Or not, we will see. Um, let's check the gravity, but of course other solids also let it flow a little, but it's still 1.000 and I'm still not sure. We'll be back sweet. So I asked my wife, she said it's sweet enough with 1.000. That's good. That means it's complete dry, but it's also sweet. Maybe the flavor of the roses make it feel sweet. So we rack it again, and then we hope it gets in one rig finished. And then we have a second one, the raspberry. So the second one. So you can see it's cleared a little. Um, Cleared really well. Um, the color is amazing. It gets all the raspberry color. And of course, we adding the raspberry, we also make a little bit back sweeting automatically. But we also make it a bit sour, so maybe we need some honey, maybe not. We will see. First of all, just to the side. This goes up again. The color is amazing. Let's take our auto siphon. And there is a pinkish color. <laughs> so there it's flow. We will check the gravity also in a moment. Like I said, 1.000 uh, was also here the start the last time, plus the uh, raspberry. So it's possible that we will a little bit higher. Okay, let's check. The color is amazing. Can you see it? And here you can really see it's clear. 
So we have one point zero one point zero zero one. So this one is one point zero 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 and this one is one point zero zero one. So it's a little bit higher, maybe one point zero zero. Yeah, one point zero zero one. The problem of the fruits, we lose a lot. I can't use the fly phone anymore. It's a lot we lose. I feel a bit sorry about it, but I can change it. Let's see the color. This is the color. It's nice. It's... I also have a piece of raspberry here inside. Okay, now it smells younger than the other one. Wow. Um, giving nice Fruitiness, freshness, but it's not so sweet like the other one. I really wonder why it don't taste so sweet. Mm. It don't taste raspberry in it. It's more tastes a little bit like blueberry. Not really raspberry, but the color is really pinkish. Mm. This one, get that, that's sweet. This one needs to be sweeter. It's the same brew, but this one we will back sweet. So, um, the question is, we will have here 1.8 liters, round about. Um, 50 gram of honey? I think 50 gram of honey is okay. Okay, um, we need to start. Maybe we use 80 gram of honey. Let's see. That's not a lot. This is 50, 60. 70 Okay, um It is a little bit more now Um, we will check the gravity in a moment again And of course we will check the taste Perfect it flows One point Zero So, 1.020. That's our new gravity. Let's try first. So the smell don't change. Really better. The flavor gives me more honey now. Uh, with some fruitiness in the background. Still not raspberry, I don't know, it's, it's of, of, of course the raspberry also make it a bit sour. It's some fruitiness flavor, some berry flavor, you can say it. But I think more blackberry, but it's okay. So, okay, two we have, it gets lower and lower and lower, but it's okay. We have here no problem with oxygen anymore. It's over 14%. Here we also have a lot of headspace, but also over 14%. Here we back sweet. Here it was sweet, but dry. It tastes sweet. And so, what happened to them? We will see. We put on the 27th of August, so one month ago, 
um, rows and raspberries inside the meat and now we already removed them but now they finished. Um, you can see here perfectly it cleared. Um, we can see in a moment. Time for racking, time for bottling, time for tasting. So let's see. You can see it's clear. You can see my hand really well in it. And let's try. Okay, smells really nice, like a good meat. Um, let's try. First we rack everything in our container. And it flow. Okay, we have here some room left, but it's the rest of the roses, particles, of course. Okay, um, let's see first. 1.00. So, this one is completely dry. Let's see. So, the color. It's a little bit cloudy. It smells really like honey meat. Um, the roses just give us little, little, little flavor or um, smell. Let's try. Oh, so I do, didn't expect the sweetness. It's dry, but it tastes sweet. The roses are really just small there. You can taste um, flowerness. Is that the right word? I don't know. You can taste flowers, roses, you can taste them, but just a hint. And the first is a really nice meat. Now we use the uh, uh, old Polish meat yeast here, if I remember right. It's nice, yes. So, time for bottling. So, continue. So we have now here our raspberry meat. I can see through it. Smells also really good. Oh, perfect color. So also here we have a little bit left. So the color is amazing. I don't know if you see as well. Um, 1.01 .01. Oh, where is the 2? 1.01 .01. Eight. Referment a little, just a little and uh, more weak, so no problem. Um, I'm sure it's also done. We make a bigger sample. The rest go inside here. So let's see. And it's now have 1.018. So it's a little bit sweet, um, not much. The color is, huh? This one is cloudy because I have the rest in the. We can see in the bottle. Okay, here your first your smell is raspberry. You can smell the raspberry. It's really there. Um, especially the sourness of the raspberry, you can smell it. And uh, yeah, you can smell raspberry. Fruitiness. Okay. Nice feeling in the mouth. The first you get is fruit. Some berry. I don't know if it's really raspberry you can taste. It's berry fruit. It's and also it's so smooth in the mouth. The honey, you no, almost don't have honey taste. But it makes it so 
not so liquidy. It more it make it like a syrup. It flows over your tongue. It's nice. It's really it's smooth on your tongue. I think this one is a nice recipe. Something I can do more. So whenever I make meat for commercial, this is a good candidate. Especially because you can make it with other meat. Hmm, really good. Let's bottle it. We get three bottles. One will stay for one year. Um, these those two, I think. And this maybe I will give away. This, too bad, it's not full. Maybe I'll fill it in a smaller bottle, in a half liter bottle. So, if you like this video, you will also like the next one that you find here and there. One YouTube thing you will like, the other one is my newest video. And down there you can subscribe and then you also can add the bell icon. Of course, write in the comments. We see you the next time. Bye.